Hey everyone, today we will learn how we can add OTP authentication in our HCS app using Superbase. In the previous video, we have done the same thing but for magic links. Today we are going to learn about OTPs. Now there's one thing to note that you cannot use both. There are two passwordless methods. One is magic link and another one is OTP. You have to use either one of them. You cannot use both. So to do that, just go to uh, just go to this flow section, then email magic link or OTP, then go to enabling email OTP. And here you will see a template. You just need to copy it and go to the authentication dashboard, email templates and select magic link and just paste it over here and just save. And now we need to create a server action. So just go to the actions file and we need to create a new function. And let's create a super base client and let's call the sign in with OTP function and we need to pass the email and if there is any kind of error we're gonna return an error message Otherwise, we can return a success message. Sorry, we don't need to return a success message. We can just redirect the user to a different route. I'm going to call it verify OTP. So this function will just send you an email with an OTP and you need another function to verify the OTP. So let's create another function. Const verify OTP. Let's create the client and we need to call superbase.auth.verify OTP and we need to pass few things. We need to pass the OTP, the email and the type will be email. So if there is any error. We're gonna console log it and return the error message. Otherwise, we can redirect the user to the home page. So let's create a new page. Verify OTP slash page dot JS. Let's create a new component. I'm just gonna paste some code. So basically we have this h1 and then a form with an otp input then a button and then there is an error if any and i need to add a condition here let's add the use action state hook And let's add the verify OTP function and pass initial state. Let's get state and form action and is pending state. Let's go to the auth form and I need to change the button text. And also inside the form action, and the function will be sign in with OTP. Now it should work. So click on send OTP. And again, I forgot to add the use client directive. Though I have an error, but the error occurred on the verify OTP uh, page, uh, I still have an email. So this is the OTP, I'll copy this. One another thing that I actually forgot is to add an email as a query parameter when we will redirect the user to verify OTP page. So let's go to the actions file. 
And inside this sign in with OTP function, we will add a query parameter. Email would be email. And let's create a variable. And let's also pass that variable here. And inside the verify OTP page, get the search params. Use search params. const search params. Let's get the email. And we'll pass the email as initial state. Now let's go to the actions file and inside the verify OTP method, uh, we're gonna pass the email from the previous state. The input name is actually token. Also here, verify OTP. And now I'm redirected to my home page and you can see I'm now logged in with my email. So that's how OTP works. In the next video, we will learn about next year's authorization with Superbase. Until then, stay safe. Goodbye.